watching Crunch Time TV. We're at the House of Sport today and we've been invited to watch the Tiger Bay Brawlers training. Tiger Bay are, we're, well we are Wales' first roller derby team. Um, we have an A and a B team. We rank quite high in Europe and we're pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so the Tiger Bay Brawlers started uh, about five and a half years ago now. Um, I was one of the original members, so I was one of the people who set up the team. Um, basically, we had heard sort of, of Roller Derby generally, and the film Whip It had just come out, and we had seen the London Roller Girls who had been running for about three years by then, um, and we just decided we wanted to do it. So um, we started hiring out sports halls um, and teaching ourselves to roller skate. Um, we weren't very good, but, but we were at least doing something towards it, which was great. And then not long into starting, so about two months after starting, somebody moved to Cardiff who had some Royal Derby experience and she had some interest in that sort of thing. And from there, it's just built and built and built. So now, five years on, we're one of the top teams in Europe. What is it about Roller Derby? Um, there are so many things about Roller Derby. I mean, one of the things that really attracted me was the fact that it's mostly played by women, so it's quite empowering for females to come and play. It also doesn't seem to kind of discriminate between like different sizes as well, so pretty much anyone can play, so it's really welcoming as well. Yeah. It's the same. Um, I sort of found Roller Derby, I was looking for uh, a hobby to get back into um, that involves skating. I sort of fell into it and then I was like, oh, we're going to hit each other as well. Awesome. And <laughs> yeah. that was five years ago, so. Um, well, they ran a intro league, which is kind of fresh meat, whereby uh, like new skaters or people who have never skated before can join in and learn how to do it. And that was run in January. So on the 5th of January, I think it was, I strapped on my skates and uh, started my journey with the brawlers. I've been with the B team um, since it was first formed in... October 2010, I think it was, um, and I'm the only player now who's played every single B team game, so I'm pretty proud of that. Oh, and you've just had your birthday! It's my B team birthday kind of thingy, and I'm also captain of the team um, at the moment, so having great fun with them. We were the highest tier of um, British champs, so um, we, have, we haven't had that many wins this year, but it's been a, it's a it's been a year for building our A team back up. We lost some sort of key players that, that towards the end of last year, but we've gone from strength to strength this year. And what we've learned has been completely invaluable to the league. You've had a really good year. You've been to America, so talk a bit about that. Yeah, so the A team went to America in uh, the early part of the year for Skate to Thrill. So the A team are working on our worldwide rankings. So we're looking to get to Division Two playoffs next year. And the B team had their first European tournament uh, in the end of August in Eindhoven. So I think for both teams, we're kind of reaching out across the world this year, which is, is pretty good. We've got some players like on track, and you'll probably see in the background, um, who came through intro courses and were completely fresh me, and are now playing for like Team Wales and Team England and uh, uh, international Royal Derby stars. Yeah. But you are well known though throughout the world. Yeah, yeah. We play, we play your aims personally as, um, as, a, as a player? Well I just made the B team uh, last quarter um, and so because I'm a fairly new skater my aim is to kind of get my uh, rotation up so I'll be able to have more experiences. Because you're the first team in Wales, but now it's just teams everywhere popping up. Yeah, it's the um, fastest growing female sport, I think, in Britain for the last three or four years. So that, that's, that's pretty, pretty unique when it comes to being at the forefront of the sport. And the men's team are definitely catching up as well. There are yeah. so many now, just in the last few years. They've just gone from a few every, like, all over to now it's just, it's just everywhere. It's not a professional sport, as it were, no. but you train like professionals. We do train like professionals, so um, you know it varies throughout the year, on season and, and off season. Um, but it can be anything between like four hours up to like ten hours training a week, or, or part time, obviously. Um, and then plus there's strength and fitness, like people eat right and go to the gym and, and 
lift weights and that sort of thing yeah, yeah. beyond the roller skating. So what made you just decide in 2010 to take the sport up? Um, funny enough, I just saw a poster in a shop saying that there were tryouts for roller derby. I didn't even know what roller derby is. I hadn't seen Whip It and I thought, that's a great poster, I'll find out more. Uh, YouTubed roller derby and thought, okay, they're probably not going to let me stay, but it's a day out. I can have a skate around and then they'll say, no, you're rubbish. Um, they let me stay, even though I probably am rubbish, but they let me stay. Um, and then we had a good six-month training program where we learned all the skills, how to be safe, how to not be reckless, the, the millions of rules that we have to abide by in a game. And, uh, yeah, I've been playing ever since. What keeps you in the sport, do you think? Um, I think those guys over there, the teamwork. It's a tough sport. Um, you do get a lot of injuries. But I think the, the way that we build a team and, you know, I've got some lifelong friends here now, so they'll keep me here forever, unfortunately for them. And the good thing is, it's not one type of person. It's all shapes and sizes, all ages, sizes, everything. Ages, ages. I'm, you know, I'm maybe one of the oldest people in the country playing roller derby at the moment. So, um, but I can go up against 18 year olds and, you know, knock them down. I look at other female sports and when you're like in your mid-twenties, which a lot of people are when they start this, there's a nervousness. Like, for example, I really like hockey, but I'm a bit scared to go and join a hockey team because I've never played hockey before and I'd be rubbish at it. And it's like, there's nervousness about that. Whereas this, like, there's no expectations. You come, you start from the basics. Like, this is how you roll a skate. <laughs> Actually, the first thing we teach you is this is how you fall over. And then we teach you how to roll a skate, um, which makes it a little bit less what do you think attracts people though into the sport, new people who may not have tried you know, anything similar before? I think it's just so different, it's like nothing you'll probably have done before, like it's a team sport, there's no ball which makes it quite unique for like many team sports do have a ball. Um, I think it's, yeah, it's just so friendly and welcoming, like it's sort of based on a community feel. Yeah. And it, where it, it, it grew from like a grassroots underground alternative sport, so the sort of ethos of it was to support each other and to be in this massive community. And that is just, it's just, it's kept that small sort of start, even though it's grown and grown and grown. So it doesn't matter if you play here or in America or in Finland, you're going to be like, oh, you play roller derby, okay, fine, that, that's it that's for the night then, your best friends. And the names travel, don't they? Because you know, oh, she's good, she's good, yeah. you know, from different countries and stuff. Yeah, I mean, like they're, they're starting to view things all over the world as well. So you can view footage from like America and stuff. So even though it's still all online at the moment, um, it's yeah, there's still access to it, which is really good. It's been the first year that ESPN in America have, has picked up championships as well. So sort of like knocking on the door of mainstream right now. <laughs> um, so we have a progression plan for the A team. So our A team, um, our goal is to play and hopefully win at. Um, like the second level tournament, the D2 playoffs next year, which will be in America, the finals for that. And um, so that's teams, I, I might be wrong, but it's teams that are ranked 40 to 60th in the world. So we want to be at the top of that level. At the minute, we're about 80th in the world. Um, to do that, we want to travel around Europe and play the top teams in Europe who are ranked higher than us. And we earn ranking points and move up in the rankings by doing that. Um, as far as our B team is concerned, um, we want to try and get a full established B team roster. At the minute, well, not it's starting to come already, but previously the B team has been a bit of a transitional place for sort of newer skaters moving up or for people who didn't want to dedicate as much time as the A team do. So our aim for the B team for next year is just to create a really strong. We have charts of 20, only 14 play the games, but we have charts of 20, and we want a really strong 20. So somebody interested, how do they get involved? So they can go on our website, which is targetbaybrawlers.com. Um, there's a recruitment uh, section there. Just contact us. We hold intro courses now, so rather than just come along, we'll get enough interested people and then we'll run um, an intro course there because it's easier to train a group of people together. What do they need? Um, they need uh, skates, uh, a bit of protective gear and a really good attitude to sport. <laughs> And that is how you train like a brawler. Join us on the next edition of Crunch Time TV.